Um, I'm really, I'm, I, I'm not really surprised. Uh, but at the same time, you know, as far as we've came since, you know, I had my incident, which is was 2009. You know, um, everything that's happened, everything that the NFL has done, all the protocols, all the things has changed. You know, you just surprised that that would even happen. Um, you know, I, you know, I was knocked out, you know, unconscious and basically got put back in a game and, you know, suffered for 10 weeks until I didn't, you know, woke up not really recognizing myself and just things was different. Um, and that's when everything kind of rolled out with the concussion, you know, issues and protocols and everything else. But like I said, you know, I'm surprised that now um, it would even even occur the way it did. Um, I've watched football games and saw guys get knocked out. I saw guys, you know, um, that were knocked out, that were unconscious, but or they were dizzy getting up because they took a certain hit. Um, their head hit the ground or whatever, and they end up holding their leg or holding their arm. And it seems like, you know, that's what coaches and that's what people are telling these guys. If you don't want to get, you know, put on a, 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 a concussion protocol, you know, you better you better grab your leg or something like that. You, you better not show that it's a head injury uh, so that they have that on film and they can go back on that. And I think this is one of those type of situations what happened with Tua, uh, where they go, it's a leg injury or whatever, back injury or whatever. No, they, they know really what it is, but they're just hiding it and it caught up with them the next game. So you think them coming out and, and being pretty adamant that this was a back injury is what they said in the first game, that that was just – to, to get him to be able to play quicker? Yeah, that was just BS because that, that was just because you have a protocol. You don't have a back protocol. You have a head injury protocol, and he would have had to go under that protocol uh, if they had said that. So it's just it's just an instance of, you know, this is what happened. Um, the, the Dodger that got fired, he was the fall guy and, you know, probably took the blame for it or whatever, and, and, and that's just part of it. Uh, it's a multi-billion dollar industry, you know, and you got a guy that's, that's making a whole lot of money. And and I can't just, you can't just put it all on the team and the team doctors. You got to put it on the player too. Uh, the players, these players, you need to be more responsible and understand that, hey, look, you're not in your right frame of mind right now to be making a decision to go back in the game. You want to be macho. You want to be the hero and this, that, and the other. But at the same time, you know, it's it's 10 years to 20 years later that you need to be thinking about and not that moment. As somebody who's, you know, been outspoken about what you dealt with post career, what would you say to Tua? I mean, he's a 24 year old kid making a lot of money, but what would, what advice would you say to him? Uh, my advice would be just, just be, be, be smarter and, and understand that this is just a game. You know, it's just a game. Um, you know, it's a great platform and everything else, but you have a name, you, you, you have, you know, everything going for you, but you know, things do happen. Injuries happen, but you got to be smarter about it and just know that this is not a, this is not an instant thing. This is a silent creeper that can haunt you for the rest of your life, you know, slowly. And and you're going to be gone from the NFL and the NFL not going to care at all about what's going on with you. So you got to be more smart and understand that you might have a family and you have other people that are more important than this game. We talked to Dr. Amalu the other day, and he was the doctor that Will Smith portrayed in the movie. And he said that he doesn't think he should play again, seeing those two injuries so close in time. Is that a little too too stiff, or is that something that Tua should consider? Um, I, I think that not, not a never play again, but I think that he do need to sit out for a while um, and really let this thing heal. Um, because, you know, it's something that you can't really feel. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's the brain. And I suffer from it for years. And, you know, you just never kind of get back. You know, from 2009, you know, I probably suffered from that, you know, post-concussive syndrome for years after that. Um, and it's cognitive. It's just cert certain issues that, that, that come up and symptoms that you're going to deal with um, mentally and depression and things like that sit in or whatever. But I think that, you know, he should sit out for a while and, and get a good diagnosis. And, you know, if, if, if he clears up and is ready to go, then, you know, get out there and give it a shot. But, you know, I think the next one, if he gets another thing like that uh, or, or is unconscious, I think it's time to give it up. 